Loading screen, you have returned from the depths of Hades to torment me once again! Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is 4-1, Hope Under Attack. Unfortunately, you get the idea of what they mean by that. Hope Hospital, Guilt Outbreak, not looking good. That was kind of hinted at the last part, you know. <laughs> anyway, we're, ba we're back at Caduceus here in Bioterror, uh oh. Holy poopers! This is not gonna be good. We all we already knew it was a viral terrorism attack earlier in the walkthrough, but for it to happen in a hospital now, you know, in the place where the doctors that are you know trying to get rid of this virus, you know, the ones that know best about this virus, are under attack now. And yeah, he's not looking too good. Man, if, if it's spread fast, it's gotta be guilt. I mean, come on, this is Trauma Center we're talking about here. No candy coating things. If, if you're in... I mean, if you have problems with something, it's gotta be guilt. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but there are a lot of operations in this game that do focus on the guilt. Uh, and that's one of the things that this game was mostly critiqued for, actually, way back in the day, like when the original Trauma Center came out was that there was way too many guilt operations, is what they said, basically. And they did remedy that in later games, but the fact that it is quite widespread in this initial first game in the series, basically, is a little bit of a downer, to be honest, because of the fact that you're doing basically the same operations time and time again, in some cases. But they keep introducing new things along the way in the remake, so it's not it's not quite as prominent as it was in the original, which I'll go more into more detail a little bit later on. When we get to um I think it's chapter six is when they really start changing things up in the Wii version of the game. So yeah. Anyway, next operation! It's time to figure out the cure for this new type of guilt. Here we go. Luckily I can't skip episodes like I was doing earlier and I had to redo parts. That was just plain embarrassing and annoying at the same time. And as you can see there's a bunch of places that we can choose to go to. So let's just pick one here. I don't actually believe it has anything to do uh, with, I mean, I think you get the same kinds of guilt no matter which area you take, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's just pick and go, I guess. And here we go. We've got to extract a sample of this Tatarti. This is the new kind of guilt, Tatarti. And it's in its larval stage here. That's why we evidently can get into uh, a, a sample out of it. Otherwise, the mature stage that's in Do Dr. Casco uh, has... You know, it's already matured and we can't do anything about that, or they've evidently determined. So, we've got to stop it and get its juices. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Here we go, horizontal cut right off the bat. And this isn't going to be hard whatsoever. Or at least I'm trying to psych myself up here so I don't mess up. Okay! <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking around here. And hello there, crawling critter. How's it going? Ooh, what are you pooping out there? Okay, see, so we gotta in inject it with the serum. So you see this red stuff, we just kind of pop it in there. And that's basically how it goes in this operation. You gotta fish it out with the ultrasound and cut it out like karaoke. Repeat the process. You can fish it out with the ultrasound just as you do with the queen karaoke. So you shouldn't have much trouble with that. And there we go. Now let's cut it. Oh, wait, I, I gotta carry it to the tray. My mistake there. And carefully make an incision, if you say so. <laughs> and then drain it out. Oops, wrong one. That's what, I, <laughs> that's what I get when I not check my tools down there when I select one. And so, yeah, that, that stuff that it's pooping out is toxic substances, so... That's why we it's killing the patients quickly, because it's essentially poisoning them. And I did pretty well there, I think. I'm not sure if I did it fast enough for a good rank. That makes me sad. But as I said before, I take a lot of time to explain things. Or I should say a lot more time than I would if I were to, you know, just play through this normally. So that was one of three types of that guilt. So we've got to choose 
another type of guilt here. And I got to pick another place here. I was already there and I was already here. So let's go over to here. And hopefully this is the next kind of guilt that we're looking for. And another operation briefing here. Yeah, it's a multiple operation in the same uh, chapter, so to speak, without any cuts in the storyline, or I should say going back into the story selection chapter area story thingy. You get the idea. So, vertical cut this time. How did I miss that? How? Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going for super high scores here, I'm just going for to show you guys how to do it. And... Wait, where'd you go? Uh, oh, you were there! What the heck? Why didn't that... And why did I grab my laser? I don't know. I'm, I'm too used to Kiriaki, I guess. <laughs> and... There we go. Let's just heal this up, and it should die off. And there's only those three there. And, by the way, in case you didn't notice, there was a... It was spewing out a different color. So I, I definitely got a different type there. And yeah, there's three different colors. And there we go. Thank you very much, Angie. Operation successful, and we're gonna get, we're gonna get judged by this too. That's ridiculous. Okay, A rank. That makes me happy. <laughs> you know, since there's like three different operations in this area, they they all seem to like rate you for the, like I don't know. It's like different ones on the same one, so to speak. Like. It, either the, I think the best rank that you get for doing one of these operations here is the rank that uh, is quoted for the chapter, so to speak. So I think you only have to do one of these good enough or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But that might just be because they're essentially the same kinds of operations here. And diagonal operation, turn your hand sideways, boink, there we go. And hello there, how's it going? Oh, Jesus Christ! Can I not do these operations well enough to get a good rank? Evidently not. I think it's working. Yeah, I know it's working. <laughs> why does she have to say she knows it's working? And why did I ultrasound there? Force a habit. And oh, holy cow! It's going crazy! It's going crazy! Use the gel! Use the gel! Use the gel! Yes, yeah, this is the last kind of it. And oops, I was gonna grab that by mistake, and all I have to do is do the normal dealio I did before. There we go! I would have gotten a good rank there if not for the fact that I somehow managed to miss with the syringe. <laughs> and... Always raise the vitals at the end of the operation if you want a better rank. There we go! And... I got an A rank even though I missed, wow. <laughs> Evidently, miss, misses aren't the kind of problem that we have to worry about. So yeah, we got all three of them there. See, it doesn't seem to matter which ones you pick to do, you know, for that operation. I don't understand why they did it that way, you know, because they give you a choice. It, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference other than the patient that you're working on and the organ that they're at. But they react so similar that it doesn't really do anything at all in terms of, you know, making it more difficult for you, so just pick whatever three you want, I guess. And what, what are you going to help with? You're an anesthesiologist. You don't know how to do all this kind of stuff, or at least I don't think so, but she certainly seems to be in quite an outrage. Yeah, it's not his fault, but she's just worried, and it's... Oh, poor Sybil. And it's clear that they're using an SLR camera of sorts with a low aperture number value because as you, as you can see some of the uh, backgrounds on the right side there is blurred out as opposed to the foreground on the left side which is in focus but surprisingly the characters that are much closer onto the camera are in focus and why am I talking about cameras I don't know I'm just being random here as usual and the clock is ticking hopefully the cure will be found yeah, so good music! Yeah, baby! Good music is always good news. When you hear good music in a video game, that means things are gonna go well, or something's gonna do a plot twist and throw that good music into a spiral that ends up into bad music. Next operation! Stepping up! Here we go. Boink! I think this will be the last one that I'll do in this part. Well, maybe I'll see how things go. Maybe it'll be a lot faster than I expect, but I'm at around 10 minutes or so into the part. 
So you never know. And why am I going to be operating? Well, I suppose that I have the most experience with these critters. And what? Yeah, that is true, but at the same time, I am uh, probably the best surgeon at this place thanks to my healing touch. <laughs> I mean, do you know of any other people in this hospital that have the healing touch besides me? No, on that's who. Well, there is uh, that older guy, which I can't think of the name for at the time, and someone's gonna yell at me for. <laughs> And then there's the uh, Dr. Nozomi, that girl that is in the Z chapters. So there's that as well, but she's not with us. <clears throat> yeah, you get the idea. But don't worry, I'll be able to do this operation. This Tatarti is actually one of the easier kinds of guilt, providing that you're fairly fast with them. Oh, I should say fast at using the um, syringe. Basically, what you want to do is inject the proper colors into the uh, corresponding Tatarites, and when they're stunned after taking damage, all three of them at the same time, then just recover the vitals. You can do that with either gel or doing it with the um, uh, normal syringe stabilizer stuff. It's not a dangerous kind of guilt. What are you talking about? <laughs> Well, I suppose in this game storyline they think it's dangerous, but I'm pretty much going to humiliate it. Watch, I end up killing, or I should say the patient ends up dying or something like that, and then it just... <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty embarrassing after I'm kind of non-hyping up this guilt, so to speak. Anti-hyping, that's the word I'm thinking of. Thanks for the luck. I won't need it. <laughs> oh, I'm way ahead. <laughs> I was going to sing the song, and oh well. Here we go, dramatic music, but we don't need that whatsoever. Let's just raise the vitals before we go inside, and evidently we got a vital cap of 70... Dang it! A vital cap of 75, that's okay with me. And now we start out with these odd colored tumors here. Yeah, 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 I know about these suckers. So, basically match the colors, cut it out, and only do these one at a time and then just leave it in there. They aren't going to start spewing blood out if you just leave them in place. Uh, they're more dangerous when you pull them out and then they start bleeding like that. Uh, I'm just going to do that and leave that membrane over that open sore there until I get, get their vitals recovered. I'm sort of manipulating the game's storyline here and there we go. Okay, get, get one color ready here and then choose a color and then memorize the other two colors. That's the easiest way to take care of Tatarati here. See, now you've seen that you've seen yellow here. Now you've seen green to your right and purple there. I'll start with yellow again, and then all you have to do is point at the yellow one and then memorize the locations of the other two. And that was that one. Okay, I saw. <laughs> and when you make a mistake, they make that little tumor again, which isn't really that much big of a deal until you get to a later operations. Uh, you see the poison drops the vitals fairly quickly, but that's not really that big of a deal, honestly, at this point in the game. And pff, missed. Curses! I'm embarrassing myself here, but it's, they're still not killing the patient. They're still doing a poor job, and I'm still destroying them, even though I'm missing all over the place. It is actually kind of hard to hit them because they're kind of squirmy. It's hard to get used to that, because they could like change directions as you're injecting them, or trying to inject into them. And come on, come on. There we go, there we go, and there we go. See what I mean? Like right there? I would have been able. To, I would have been able to hit him had he not just changed direction uh, at the exact same time I was administering the whatever you want to call that stuff. And there we go. <laughs> that was ridiculously easy, just as I said. And boop, there we go. Yes, I know I've improved, even though well, okay, I, I was always good because I beat this game before. <laughs> but in the game storyline, I have improved. And an A rank for all those freaking misses. Pause for a second. How? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> he is good to go. No problem. No more toxins. No more tatarti. He will recover. I swear those guilt are incredibly weak no matter what, what kind of form they are and they do make them a little more powerful later on but it's not enough to really 
you know, hinder you from defeating them efficiently. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part when we look for some foreboding clues.